You'll remember that just a short while ago, the ANC briefed the media on its readiness for the party's election manifesto launch, as well as other issues. For more on that, we cross to my colleague and SABC News reporter, Samkele Maseko. Good afternoon, Samkele. What has the ANC said, particularly on the readiness of the manifesto launch? Essentially, the ANC is saying that there are steaming ahead with this weekend they are ready they will uh, be filling up uh, this uh, particular stadium but most importantly they do have a national executive committee meeting in the afternoon to fine-tune their manifesto slogan and manifesto message to south africans this afternoon that will essentially be addressed by the president of the ANC and delivered to the members of the party on saturday they will be meeting at six o'clock in the afternoon to finalize that NEC but on preparations of how far the province has mobilized the residents of KwaZulu Natal to come to the stadium. I'll bring in Mr. Peggy Mtolo, the Provincial Secretary of the ANC. Mr. Mtolo, essentially how far have you gone in mobilizing the residents of the province to come through to your manifesto launch this Saturday? No, thanks. Good afternoon and good afternoon to the viewers, the people of KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. I think uh, our mobilization has gone very well. We have met uh, with the people of KwaZulu Natal and wish to humble ourselves because the reception we have received from the people of KwaZulu Natal shows that uh, they still get a great hope for the, to the African National Congress. And uh, our problem now that we are facing is that we are short of buses. Well, some other political parties said they were short of buses for people to come into the stadium here at Moses Mapida about two weeks ago, but we saw some empty seats. Would we be saying the same with you? <laughs> well, not some other political parties. Well, the African National Congress. I think even yourself, if you live in South Africa, you'd know uh, the build-up programs we have, we have been doing here. Even today, there are about three build-up programs here in three uh, in Etiwini, the biggest one uh, in a, in a, the biggest one in. A, uh, Guatuguza in Ward 10 in Crownville, the biggest one in Newcastle. Uh, that shows you every day uh, we are holding not less than. Just in the, in the last weekend, we interacted with almost 110,000 people of KwaZulu Natal. That shows that the people support KwaZulu Natal. I'm telling you now, in terms because we have registered everybody that comes here. We are short of so many buses. The market can't even provide us with buses. When you look at the preparations, essentially, how are the figures? How many people are you anticipating to be in and around this particular stadium? Without um, uh, people who would be coming on their own, people that will be transported through taxis and buses, uh, inside the stadium there will be 75,000, and outside the stadium at People's Park, it overflow will be 56,000. That is number, those, those numbers are confirmed and registered. Where are these people coming from? Is it purely from all the 11 regions of KwaZulu Natal or also from outside of the province? Uh, the 150,000 150, people are coming purely from KwaZulu Natal, mainly in, 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 in biggest regions like Etegwini, Mkungujov, uh, Moses Mabita, General Kizenga, Lower South Coast, Tolomani Nyaiza, and Herigwada. Uh, Those are the most people that will come from them, but the regions on the north. Uh, they make 156,000. There are provinces that have indicated that they will bring people like Pumalanga Free State and, uh, and uh, Eastern Cape. But uh, they, they will add from the 150,000. But it depends where they come. Uh, because even the overflow, that the, the capacity of 56,000, that's the maximum capacity it can take. So you're having a, a manifesto launch here at Moses Mapita, but for the past two weeks, people in Guamashu have not had water. How does that correlate? You're celebrating, you're launching a manifesto, saying what you'll do to people, but people, Mlaz, people in Umshanga, some of them have not had water for weeks. We're not celebrating. We celebrated in Pumalanga, our January 8. We're not celebrating. We're launching a manifesto of what we'll do. But we are also disgenuous to yourself because you know that Senzo Mkhunu, the Minister of Water and Sanitation, has spent a lot of time, more, more than a month now, he has been interviewing, as we speak today, is in Kwantlimba, to deal with issues of water. You know that he's dealing with issues of water. He was in the north, at the area of Phoenix, at the area of Tongati, last week. You know that very well. But do those people have water as we speak now, Mr. Mdol? Unfortunately, also we are disgenuous because you know that the issues of water are because of floods. Etegwin have appointed a contractor to rebuild the water treatment plant that was wiped away by floods at 491 million. It's going to take three years for that water treatment plant to be filled up. Mr. Mdolo, the question is, as we speak now, but you know, and I, do I know, they have water? I know you did engineering. You did, didn't do engineering. You did journalism, unfortunately. That's why at, at the engineering faculty, we got so high points to enter there because your achievement must be high. In terms of engineering, unfortunately, it's beyond the city. It's not, the city didn't invent floods. The floods are God-given things. It's natural. It's natural disasters.
then you can't blame them for, for that they've suffered disasters. So Mdolo, as we speak now, they don't have water because of floods? There are interruptions of water, not that they don't have water at all. There are interruptions. Cater deployment, Etagwini municipality, it's purported and reported to be on the verge of collapse by your opposition parties. Are the people deployed in this specific city running it effectively or running it to the ground? When you look at your own cadre deployment policy, did you deploy the correct people to run this municipality? Now we are resuscitating what the SG is. Uh, I think SG has covered that and you were there. You asked the question, SG answered. Then you want me to call to convene another media briefing outside what the SG has said. I, I'm not going to do that. But it's in relation to the residents of this municipality, which is under your constituency. When you talk about CADA deployment, the SG did explain and what is CADA deployment. Let's talk about the city manager, for example. The city manager is, in fact, not that is qualified. It's overqualified. It's overqualified. Mozambique is overqualified. It's got more than 20 years' experience. On Monday, are we sure that the stadium will be full or not full? So I want to call you and say, Imdol, the stadium is full or not full? I want when your final word. The stadium will be not only full, will be full to capacity and will have an overflow. Uh, and I know you will be very happy uh, when you see those numbers. Why would I be happy? Eh? Why would I you will be happy. The NCC is the party that is loved by everyone. Even those who talk bad about the NC, but they love the NC. Where I stay, there's no water, I'm told. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So it's fine for me not to drink water. I mean, water is the basic of life. The we basic necessity of life. We know that. We know How that. is it life for people not we to have water? Where, where there's, a, there's no water, we are in, intervening seriously. Uh, Minister Mkono is intervening seriously on that. And you know that. We are just using the, the issue of water to disrupt and discredit us. No, no, no. It's not a, it's not and a I know where you stay. It's a water. question. I know where you stay, there's water. You want me to, 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 to name your residential address? I know where you stay, we have water. Thank you very much. That is the provincial secretary of the ANC basically is saying that uh, it's all systems go for them this weekend. The stadium will be full to capacity. The president will effectively launch the manifesto of the party to uh, 75,000 uh, attendees inside the stadium. 65,000 on the stands and some on the pitch and an overflow area saying there will be 56,000. One wonders where will those numbers come from when they are facing an onslaught from MK and also the EFF, as they also say, eating the elephant piece by piece. Well, we definitely hope that uh, those residents will have water when they come to the stadium. Samkele, thank you so much uh, for your report.